Hello everyone, it's Kay from The Paper Shed. Thanks for popping on and joining me today. Hope you're all doing well and you're having a great week. If you're new, then welcome aboard and thanks for joining us. If you're a usual subscriber, thanks for coming back. So um, we're on with the uh, third, third part of the teacher gift series. Um, and we did this last week. So I've changed it up a little bit. Um, I've just added a little cluster there with notes. Um, we stuck the pocket on the back and I've just put a few of the uh, Tim Holtz uh, bits that were left. Um, I haven't changed anything inside, I don't think. Um, I've just added a little pencil here. Um, it's a bit bright and <laughs> it's probably not going to be staying there. But, um, but yeah, this is lovely, this is. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a nice feel to it. Um, I cut the bottoms of the fabric and I'll just allow those to fray up um, while I'm using it. And as I say, I've just just added little, little bits of ephemera in the, what was left, really, the card that was left over. So it did actually take, um, just if you're interested in making one, it did actually take four sheets of the 12 by 12 Tim Holtz papers, a little bit of fabric and um, obviously your notepad. Uh, it took um, three, I think it's three craft card. Um, so we made this part out of craft card and we covered the actual um, book in craft card. And I think that took three A4 sheets. So it's not a bad little make. Um, it, and as I did say in the other video, really, it, they only do take about an hour to make, really. Um, but it's I, it's just lovely. I love it. So I hope you did too. Uh, this week, we're going to be doing a um, similar one. Same pad, because you'll buy these in packs. Um, they're five by eight pads, notepads. They come loose, they don't come with any sort of um, cover or anything like that. Um, they just come like that. Uh, we're just gonna make one this time, which has just got a little pen holder on it and it's got a top and a bottom. We're gonna put a little spine in the top there and um, we're gonna have it as a flip up. So the pen will go in here and that's all we need to do with it. So this one should be a lot, lot quicker to make. Uh, I'm going to stay, I think, with the Tim Holtz um, papers. I'm just turning these over because I want this writing on the inside and we are going to glue these completely down um, this time. So I just thought we'd... I've started with these um, like this. It is an Amazon packaging, again. Um, they are, these two pieces are five and a quarter by eight and you need two. And this is a quarter inch by five and a quarter and it's just the top bit of the spine. And all I've literally done is um, I've cut the edges from around the A3 uh, envelope of the Amazon packaging. Um, I've left, this is the side, so I've left that side on. It doesn't matter, you can take it off, but I just find it easier when you come to glue them together. So I actually leave mine on, but it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. You can just cut two pieces of card out and glue it, or if you've got thick enough card, you're not using Amazon packaging, you can just go ahead and cut your five and a quarter by eight. Um, and how you do it to get your two pieces, because I've just done this and I made a mistake. So I'm just letting you know so that you don't do it. I cut all the edges off, so I've got no bumps. Um, you know, the little uh, indents that it's got going around the envelope. I cut all those off, the three sides. And then I, um, I then cut the eight from the opposite side to your fold. So if you're keeping this on, you need your eight to be the other end of that, the opposite end to that. And then you get your two pieces out of your one envelope. And then this is just cut off of the end 
So when I've cut the ends off, I've just made a little quarter inch and I will just um, glue that together. So we're going to be using Tim Holtz again, um, just because I may as well just keep with that theme really. Um, next time I will be making something Christmassy um, and using some Christmas papers, um, just because I'm going to do two because they're really quick and easy to do. Um, and I will do one as Christmas and one in Tim Holtz, and then you can make up your mind what which one you prefer. So uh, yeah, let's get cracking. So we're gonna we're gonna glue these. So we're going to do something slightly different instead of covering it in craft. Now you could just leave it as craft. Um, when I used to do, um, oh, this one doesn't want to stick. When I used to make the albums and do boxes and things, I used uh, the black um, masking tape. And it's great stuff for edging with, which is how we edge the boxes when we make boxes. So let me get rid of that. Um, and you could either just ink those, which I think, actually, I think we will. I think we'll just ink them. Um, but I have edged it or I've edged others. And all we really do is um sorry i've got something stuck to my tape i can take it off it's not a problem but all we'd normally do mind you we've got to do it yeah let's do it let's do it let's do i think i'm going to do the top first and I'm going to use my joined piece. Okay. Now you can tear this really easy, but it just saves a little bit if you. Sorry, I'm off camera and I'm messing around. I don't know what to do. Let me just do that first. Because what you really want to do is you want to make that as straight as possible. You can trim them up afterwards. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put our spine in. So we're going to leave a small gap. And we're going to put our spine in there. Slightly out. Just do that from up top. So I just want a an equal amount, top and bottom, for your gap. So I'm going to do that. We're then going to put another piece of this on the top. So that we can attach the other piece. Okay, so I've put the second piece on the top. <clears throat> um, usually, because this is obviously a quite a small spine, usually you would join this, but you would have a much bigger spine, so it would be half and half of one piece. Um, so you would it wouldn't normally be like this. But as we're doing a very small spine, and then we're just going to level that up and stick that down. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around here and I'm just going to push that inside there, just so that you get the two grooves for where your spine is. Don't worry where your black is, that's all going to, most of that's going to be covered up. 
Now you can either turn this over um, or you can cut it off straight. But we are just going to do it again on the inside. So both bits. There we go. Make sure it's nice and flat. And again, you can cut this off straight or you can fold it over. Um, and seems, yeah, I'm just going to fold it over, I think. Just make sure it goes in there. Just burnish those in. So it's as flat as possible. Do the same with that. Any creases can be pulled out. You can use cream. You know the cream, the normal masking tape, the decorous tape um, that you get? You can use cream to do it and then that way you can just um, ink your edges as normal um, if you want to do it that way. Um, so what we're going to now do is we're going to go down the edges. Okay, so. so we're just going to do the edges. Do those as neat as possible. And then you can cut that end off. Do the other one. This stuff is a bugger if you get it stuck to itself. So you might just want to be a bit careful when you're doing it together or turning over. Do the same down on these ones. Same again there. Fold it over as neatly as possible. Same again down this side. And any masking tape will do really. I mean, you can get that purple um, masking tape, can't you? I think it's like a low tack one. I don't know how good that is though. But I mean, to be honest, once you've actually got it on, you're gonna cover the, the edges anyway. Um, so I should imagine it would work fine. I mean, if you're unsure, just try it on something a little smaller, if you want. Because this black edge will be exposed here, but only very, very slightly. I mean, you can do mitres on the corners um, if you want to. It's stuck to itself. Okay, so I think we've finished with that. Just turn that over as flat as possible and put that up there. Okay. Okay, so this is our outside. 
Okay, so that's now ready for its paper. Okay, so what I've done is I've got my um, Tim Holtz papers cut and ready to glue. Um, and then I decided that on the inside, um, I'd like to, instead of what you can do, you see, you can put a full piece here, um, a full piece on there, and you can literally just glue the pad from the back. I'll just show you what I mean. So you can just put glue all over there, and then you can pop that into there and have it like that. Or you can do it in the way that I've decided to do it, and that is... I'm going to put a piece on there. I'm then going to put a gusseted piece on here. And I've used the same papers so that it's the same. So that's how it would look. And then I'm going to slide that in so that they have the choice to um, replace the notepad, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to need to gusset that, uh, which I've just pulled out two pieces of the Amazon packaging that I cut off the original sheet. Um, and I'm just going to do it with those. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to glue the others on first, um, just so that we've got... Um, yeah, I quite like that for the front. Where's my glue here? So I'm just going to glue on these. I'm just going to use Kalal. Um, and I still didn't fill my bottle up. Okay, we should have enough. So there we go, first piece is going down, quite like this for the front with that pop of red on it. And then we're just going to equal it up on there and then I'm just going to press it in. Just going to push that up just slightly, there we go. Just finish that down. We may as well do the back whilst we're at it. And I think we're going to use uh, this one. That side. Place and then just finish that. Okay, so that's those two done. We'll do the inside piece. Um, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that side. So I think I've used two pieces up to yet of um, Tim Holtz papers. There we go. Now you could elaborate more if you wanted to by sticking pockets on this on this part because that comes down. You could put a pocket on the front or a pocket on the back. It's entirely up to you how you elaborate. Um, I'm going to stick this piece down next, which is the top bit.
And then while well, I just let that dry, I'm just going to make two gussets for here. Now obviously you measure your paper. I've made mine um, a little bit lower than I wanted to, um, but it was because I wanted the papers to match. So um, to get it to level up and look right, I needed to take a little bit more off. So you could do yours a little bit longer by about an inch and a half if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to mark there and I'll do it again because I want to cut two of them. Um, to be honest, I don't do this with scissors. So I'm just going to cut there and I'm just going to cut there. Then what I'm going to do is just get my little um, scoreboard. I don't know whether I need three folds or two. I think I just need two. These are a little bit wider. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the edge. So if we're coming five, one, two, three, four, five, no, six. So we're coming in six. Where's the other one? Under here. So one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to mark it at six. And then we're just going to fold that down. I've done it in the card probably didn't need it to be this sort of um, I didn't really need this stiffness to be honest uh, but it's what I had at hand so we're just going to go with it I'm just going to cut them level and I will burnish them in a moment I shouldn't use my little scissors for this really, I should use my big ones because I just make a hash of it. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of that rubbish. I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to just burnish these on both sides so it's not too sticky out. -y. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick those onto here. We'll trim them off. I'm going to use um, art glitter, but only because it will dry quicker. So we're going to want this side. to be glued all the way down. I'm just going to stick that to there. Just level that up. Sure that it goes slightly over. Just want to make sure that it just that crease sticks up over that edge. And the only reason I want to do that is because I need the pocket to be quite fluent and I want as much room as I can to get that um, the back of that notepad in there. So doing the same again, just gonna add this in. Okay, 
on the other one and I'm not putting a gusset on the bottom because I don't need it um, so the less bulk really the better so uh, I'm just going to put some along take that out because that will make it glue on itself so I'm just literally going to go along the bottom here okay so what we're going to do now is we're just going to do the one side Okay, and then you're just going to fill that down and do it on this side. This needs to go now, we're at the bottom. And I think we're possibly done. Now you could go to the extreme of just covering this bit here if you wanted to. Um, so lift that up like so. Find your opening in here. It is there, but it in once. <laughs> there we go. And then what you can do is then that can come down as far as you need it to come. There we go. What did we forget to do? We forgot to put the pen on. I forget that all the time. And I do want it to go under that bit there. So I'm just going to make me a little piece for the pen holder. See if I can find what I've got. Right, I've got these two pieces. So I'm just going to cut a piece up. And we're going to do what we did before. I don't think this one. Um, Maybe that's a little bit too uh, thick. Just doing it a little bit thicker than I did the other one. 
uh, that way I mean um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and slide it into there which it is going to let me so let me just get my doctor on the floor um, I'm just going to get my bone folder and just make sure that that's enough space there I'm going to take this back out just so it's not getting in the way I want to um, yeah, I want to glue these two pieces together. So I'm just going to glue those together. Just wiggle that like this, just to get your circle going. Make sure it's big enough. So pick a pencil or a thin pen. Um, you know, or a fat pen, up to you what you want to use. Um, so I've got a pen here that fits nicely in there, that's perfect. So then, what we're going to do is on here, because you don't want it to stick out too far, you want to do it as far up as you can. And then, what I'm going to do is take it in that hand, and then I'm going to slip it under there. Wiggle it a bit as you go so that you're getting the glue in the places that it needs to be. Uh, why have I put that pen? Because the pen will help before the glue sets, hopefully. No, I haven't opened it enough. Just bear with me just for a second. It'll work quickly because of the glue. There we go. That should be okay now. That should be better. There we are. No, it's still not right. I need to pull that up slightly. I want to go right in that corner. Right in there. going to come down back down and we're just going to burnish that back into place I mean preferably don't do with the mistake or make the mistake that I've made um, we just need now to just wiggle that pen holder there we go so we've got pen holder nice and firm we've then got the book the notepad, which you can't see where I'm going with it. Here we go. And then that's going down in there where it needs to go. There we go. And there we have it. A nice notebook and pen. So great teacher gift for a man or a woman you can decorate it in whatever papers you like so you can use a masculine paper or you can use um tim holtz or you can use uh, florals or christmas or whatever it is meant to be even a happy birthday paper if that's what it's for so it's very versatile that pen's a little tight in there um, so it's very versatile, it's quite easy to use and um, yeah, great little gift. So I hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did, that pen fits better, um, I certainly did, I, I do love just pulling these together, it takes about I would say 20 minutes to half an hour to make, great little notebooks, you can embellish it, you can put pockets on it to make it more interesting um, with little bits in you could do a little dangle if you wanted to little charm you could even actually put a little um, peg metal one of those little metal pegs that you can buy the Tim Holtz ones um, with a piece of elastic on if you wanted to um, so there's loads that you can do with it either to make it feminine or even masculine 
so uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed that then so uh, next time it is going to be something a little different um with some post-it notes and a calendar and um they make great little teacher gifts they're very easy and cheap to make and um yeah everybody can have one so uh, so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now